Okay, so how do we use these four words <clears throat> to help us in real life? How do we solve problems using these words with chance in real life? Well, if you've ever watched the weather at the end of the news, you'll see that these words are used all the time. So, let's have a look at that. So when we talk about weather, we can see that there are different scenarios here for the weather. We've got thunderstorms, we've got rain, we've got clouds, we've got sunny and cloudy and raining all at the same time. A bit like Melbourne, really. But we can use these uh, words, these chance words, to help us with this, to solve our problems. This is how we talk about uh, chance in the real world, because there, there's a chance of things happening. So it may be unlikely in Queensland that we'll get snow. Could be possible if the weather conditions are correct, but it's not certain and it's not likely. We can say that it's unlikely that that will happen or it's possible that that will happen. So we use these words, these words of chance, to help us in our everyday lives we solve a problem. That's how we talk about the weather. So there's one way of doing it, and there it is there. Let's look at some others. Okay, for the next part, let's go back to the lotto. We spoke about that in our last lesson. Now the lotto, or the lottery, <clears throat> everybody joins in, everybody buys the tickets. So the more tickets that are bought, the less likely that it is to happen. Yeah, it's possible. Definitely not certain. If it was certain, everybody would be involved. Is it unlikely? No, it's not. It's not unlikely. But then again, it could be unlikely. It just depends on the number of tickets that are sold. For example, if in Australia there were 7 million tickets sold, it's unlikely that you're going to win. Is it likely? No. Is it possible? Yes. Is it certain? No. So you can use those words of chance to help you to understand how the lotto works. You can solve the problem. <clears throat> The more tickets that are sold, the less chance there is of you actually winning it. So, you know, while we can say that it is, maybe it's likely that you'll win, possibly not. Is it more unlikely than likely? Yes, it is. Is it certain? No, it won't be certain. So, using the words of chance, that will help us to come to grips with the idea of being able to win or to lose or to be part of, you know, have some kind of win in lotto. It's very unlikely that we'll win because of the, the odds, which is another word that we use to describe how many people are involved in taking a ticket in the lotto. So if 7 million people take a t ticket in the lotto, the possibility, okay, of you winning it is 1 in 7 million. So you have to be really lucky to win it. Uh, and that is what chance is all about. It's more about luck than anything else. But we have a language to help us to discuss it. So we'll, we'll do one more thing. We'll do one more, we'll discuss one more thing. So here we go. Okay, so here's a problem. Oh, what's the possibility of you being hit by lightning? Well, yes, it's very possible that it can happen to you. And some people get hit by lightning more than once. Is it likely? Yeah, we can say that as well. It's likely that you might be hit by lightning. Is it certain? No. Is it unlikely? Pretty much. So again, we're using the language of chance to explain that our chances of being hit by lightning. Possible, likely, certain or unlikely. Just it just it all depends. <laughs> depends on your chance. So in when we try and use these words and this idea of chance to help us to solve problems in real life, we have to look at all four concepts, all four ideas, the likelihood, the possibility, the certainty and the unlikeliness of it happening. All these words come into play and you need to think about it. You need to think, which one will I use 
that best describes what ha what's happening in my life or in real life. So I've given you three examples. Perhaps you might be able to think of some other examples where chance and these words that I've put down here come into play. What other things in real life do you use or could you use to describe likeliness, the likeliness of it happening, the possibility, the certainty, or the unlikeliness of it happening. So those four words, likely, possible, certain, unlikely, where can you use them and can you use them properly? Okay, over to you.